us about James's background. We'll start with that. Okay, so James came in about three weeks ago. Um, he was found as a stray and brought to our emergency clinic, um, Pemina Vet Hospital. And um, he was assessed there and then came to us the next day. It was a Saturday. He, uh, we don't know what happened, but he suffered some sort of head trauma. Uh, his left eye, um, I don't know if you want the gory details, but it was, it was out of the socket and had been out for some time. And so it was non-visual and it was basically just dead tissue, so it had to be removed. And then he had quite a bit of pain in his jaw. You don't want to sit still. He had quite a bit of pain in his jaw when it was opened. He had many broken baby teeth, and then he had a lot of inflammation in his right eye. So we dealt with the immediate stuff that we needed to deal with right away. And this is him, like he was happy and amazing, beautiful personality, even with all the trauma that he'd gone through. What we did the first day he was in is we anesthetized him and we removed that left eye that could not be saved. And um, we, uh, we removed the baby teeth that were broken because they would have been quite painful as well. About two months ago, he had sustained some sort of head trauma. And because of the trauma, he had to have both eyes removed. So he is blind. Um, he's in foster care right now and doing wonderfully. Um, he can hear, he can follow toys, uh, he can follow treats, but he cannot see. So the donations have allowed James to live and it's allowed him to have the chance to experience a normal life. Uh, without the donations, he uh, was a suffering stray puppy uh, who needed immediate medical attention. And it costs a lot of money um, to have two major surgeries done to take the eyes out. And then in the future, he's gonna need to have the one adult tooth taken out as well. He's neutered, he's vaccinated, uh, he is tattooed. So all that takes time and money. And if we didn't have those donations, it wouldn't be possible.